Story in English for Learning with Moral Stories are a powerful tool for learning. They can teach us about different cultures, values, and life lessons. Stories can also help us to develop our imaginations and critical thinking skills. There are many different types of stories, but some of the most popular are moral stories. Moral stories are stories that teach us a lesson about right and wrong. They can be about anything from greed to kindness to the importance of hard work. Here are a few examples of moral stories in English. The Tortoise and the Hare This story teaches us that it is better to be slow and steady than to be fast and careless. The Boy Who Cried Wolf This story teaches us that if we lie too often, people will stop believing us. The Goose That Laid Golden Eggs This story teaches us that it is better to be content with what we have than to be greedy and lose everything. The Ant and the Grasshopper This story teaches us the importance of hard work and saving for the future. The Lion King This story teaches us about the importance of family, responsibility, and courage. These are just a few examples of the many moral stories that exist in English. There are stories for all ages and interests. If you are looking for a story to teach your child a valuable lesson, or if you are simply looking for a good story to read, be sure to check out one of these moral stories. Benefits of Reading Moral Stories There are many benefits to reading moral stories, including Teaching Moral Lessons Moral stories can teach children about right and wrong and help them to develop their own moral code. Promoting good values Moral stories can promote positive values such as honesty, kindness, and compassion. Encouraging empathy Moral stories can help children to understand the perspectives of others and to develop empathy. Building character Moral stories can help children to build good character traits such as responsibility, courage, and perseverance. Developing critical thinking skills Moral stories can help children to develop their critical thinking skills by encouraging them to think about the character's actions and the consequences of their choices. Improving reading comprehension Moral stories can help children to improve their reading comprehension skills by challenging them to think about the meaning of the story and the lessons it teaches. How to choose the right moral stories for children When choosing moral stories for children, it is important to consider the child's age and maturity level. Some moral stories may be too complex or frightening for younger children. It is also important to choose stories that are relevant to the child's life and experiences. Here are a few tips for choosing the right moral stories for children. Consider the child's age and maturity level. Some moral stories may be too complex or frightening for younger children. Choose stories that are relevant to the child's life and experiences. Children are more likely to be engaged by stories that they can relate to. Look for stories that teach positive values. Moral stories should teach children about right and wrong and help them to develop their own moral code. Choose stories with engaging characters. Children are more likely to enjoy stories with characters that they can care about. Read the story yourself first. Before reading a moral story to your child, read it yourself first to make sure that it is appropriate for their age and maturity level. How to read moral stories to children Once you have chosen a moral story to read to your child, there are a few things you can do to make the experience more enjoyable and meaningful. Create a cozy environment. Find a comfortable place to sit and read with your child. You may want to dim the lights or play some soft music. Read with expression. Use your voice to convey the different emotions of the story. 
Ask questions. After reading the story, ask your child questions about the characters, the plot, and the moral of the story. This will help them to understand the story better and to think about the lessons it teaches. Have a discussion. Encourage your child to share their thoughts and feelings about the story. This can help them to process the lessons of the story and to apply them to their own lives. Conclusion Moral stories are a great way to teach children about right and wrong, promote good values, and develop their character. When choosing moral stories for children, it is important to consider the child's age and maturity level, and to choose stories that are relevant to their life and experiences. When reading moral stories to children, create a cozy environment, read with expression, ask questions, and have a discussion. 10 English Stories with Moral The Tortoise and the Hare Once upon a time, there was a tortoise and a hare who were arguing about who was faster. They decided to have a race to settle the argument. The hare was confident that he would win, so he started the race very quickly. The tortoise, on the other hand, was slow and steady. He plodded along at his own pace, never giving up. The hare soon got tired and stopped to rest under a tree. The tortoise kept going, and eventually he passed the hare. When the hare woke up and saw the tortoise ahead of him, he started to panic. He chased after the tortoise, but it was too late. The tortoise finished the race first and won the bet. Moral of the story It is better to be slow and steady than to be fast and careless. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, there was a boy who was bored while he was tending sheep. He decided to have some fun by yelling, Wolf! Help! There's a wolf! The villagers came running to help the boy, but when they arrived, they saw that there was no wolf. The boy laughed at the villagers for being fooled. A few days later, the boy decided to play the same trick again. He yelled, Wolf! Help! There's a wolf! The villagers came running to help the boy again, but once again, there was no wolf. The boy laughed at the villagers for being fooled again. A few days later, a real wolf came and started to attack the sheep. The boy yelled, Wolf! Help! There's a wolf! But the villagers thought that he was playing another trick on them, so they ignored him. The wolf attacked the sheep and killed many of them. The boy learned a valuable lesson that day. If you lie too often, people will stop believing you even when you're telling the truth. Moral of the story If we lie too often, people will stop believing us even when we're telling the truth. The Goose That Laid Golden Eggs once upon a time, there was a farmer who had a goose that laid golden eggs every day. The farmer was very happy with his goose, and he became very rich. One day, the farmer became greedy. He decided to kill the goose so that he could get all of her golden eggs at once. But when he opened up the goose, he found that she was just a regular goose inside. He had killed the goose that laid the golden eggs, and now he had no golden eggs at all. Moral of the story It is better to be content with what we have than to be greedy and lose everything. The Ant and the Grasshopper Once upon a time, there was an ant and a grasshopper. The ant was hardworking and saved food for the winter. The grasshopper was lazy and played all day long. When winter came, the ant had plenty of food to eat. The grasshopper, on the other hand, had no food and was starving. He went to the ant and asked for help. 
The ant said, What were you doing all summer when I was working hard? The grasshopper said, I was playing music and enjoying the sunshine. The ant said, Well, then you can dance all winter. Moral of the story It is important to work hard and save for the future. The Lion King Once upon a time, there was a lion king named Mufasa. He had a son named Simba, who was the heir to the throne. Mufasa's brother, Scar, was jealous of Simba. He wanted to be king himself, so he plotted to kill Mufasa and Simba. Scar lured Simba into a trap and then caused a stampede of wildebeest. Mufasa tried to save Simba, but he was killed by Scar. Simba thought that it was his fault that his father died, so he ran away. He lived in exile for many years. One day, Simba was visited by his childhood friend, Nala. She told him that Scar had ruined the kingdom and that the lions needed him to come back and be king. Simba returned to the kingdom and challenged Scar to a fight. Simba won the fight, and he became the new king. He restored the kingdom to its former glory and lived happily ever after.